Okay, so since we've decided to make our faces database as an MS Access uh, database file, so you simply just go and open your Microsoft Access, uh, and never mind this message if it's showing for me. Uh, anyhow, so what you want to do is you first want to select your uh, new, you go to new, and you select blank database from the temp available templates. This is, by the way, Microsoft Office 2010, so the interface will look something like this. So once I've selected the blank database, I want to name my database. Mm, let's just call it Faces Database. So the name is Faces Database, but the extension should not be .accdb for because I have found that it is not compatible directly with C Sharp. So I'm going to set it to one of the previous versions of MS Access, which is .mdb file. Now .mdb is uh, easily, this is perfectly compatible and it is not going to give you any problems. So once we've also named our new the database file, we're just going to click the create button and there we have our database ready. Now this is an empty database with a table uh, right now called uh, table 1 and the design is pretty much empty. There's nothing in the design of the table so we're going to have to do the designing right now. Now you see the, the file faces database file, uh, MS Access file, is actually your faces database and your tables, which you can create, obviously create more tables. Uh, the tables are the training sets or the actual containers of the face and the name label pairs. Now, uh, for example, these are the columns. These are the columns of the table. You, you could say that one would be the ID of the face, the other is going to be the name of the face, and the third one is naturally going to be the uh, image, the face image itself. So how will the training set look like in this face it, faces database? We're going to start designing it. You go right click the table. First we're going to rename it. Okay, we have to first close the view. Now now let's just uh, design it first and then we'll rename it later. Okay, design view. Uh, now we are going to actually rename this table as, let's say, training set one. Okay. Now there we have it. Training set one is our first training set, which will have some uh, columns that is, some fields, and there are data types associated with it. Now the design comes here. Uh, the design goes something like this. You have to first, of course, give a um, set some column as a primary key. That is, you have to have a value that identifies each row in your table as unique. So I think that face ID, let's call it the field as face ID, the primary key would be the face ID. You see this uh, key made over here? This is the sign of it being the primary key. Uh, the yeah, uh, it, this key represents this field being the primary key. So the data type, or that is uh, the sort of values that go into this uh, column, this uh, entry of the column, would be, you could select either auto number, it will automatically generate from zero and forward as each row gets added, for example, zero, one, two, three, four, and et cetera, et cetera so on. Or you could set it to some text. Now you have to figure out which suits best for you because it depends totally on your needs, whether you need to update the face or its values or not, or uh, you have any other requirements. Because basically what you need to do with the faces database is that you need to update a face. For example, you have to update its image or you have to update its uh, name or you have to delete it totally altogether or you have to add more to it. So I, I found that keeping it to text data type makes it more flexible. How we'll see when we implement this, when we use the database, we'll see how actually it helps in making the database a bit more flexible in order to manage it. Okay, good, for, uh, good enough for our face ID. Now let's go to the next uh, attribute I need for uh, my uh, face label pair, which is naturally going to be face name. 
This is going to be the label of each face image that you're going to enter into this database. So naturally, the data type should be text. And then we have the major, or you could say the primary uh, field, no, not the primary field, I'm sorry, but the key, f the important, most important field of our table that is the face image. Now the face image is the column where your actual image is going to be stored of whatever face you have in your training set. And the data type for this, important to note, is going to be an OLE object. Why is it an OLE object or what is an OLE object? I just suggest you uh, search it online. I will add some notes to the tutorial uh, in text form later on, but right now it's a bit out of the scope. And just know that images are stored in data MS Access database in form of OLE objects. And for now, this is a uh, sufficient enough design for our training set. We have all the desired fields and all the appropriate data types set for them. So in order to save this, let's just close it. It'll ask you if you want to save the changes to the design of table. And you click yes. And now we'll double click it. And there you are. Now you see, this is the face ID face name goes here, the face image goes here. Okay, one important thing to notice that when you're going to code, uh, just remember the order of your columns. For example, face ID comes first, the face name the next, and the third one is the face image. You could uh, just uh, shuffle them and you could move face ID to the, the number three and to face name to one. It's your decision, but I'm going to stick to this design for now. Uh, this arrangement of the columns. So uh, this is one that we will sh uh, follow in our implementation to come. So far we are ready with our empty faces database, empty training set. Now the next part we need to do is fill it up with all the faces of the people that we want to recognize later on. So we'll move to that step right after we have completed designing our faces database, which is almost complete.